Hi guys, welcome back to Grace Gaddy Pilates. Today you'll need a chi ball and a box that is shown behind me. We're going to get started and we're starting with three red springs and one blue spring. So that's three and a half springs. Let's lie onto your back. Make sure that your headrest is nice and flat and you're gonna place your heels onto the foot bar hip width apart. Make sure there's a gap between the small of your back and the carriage. We're gonna inhale, take a nice deep belly breath. As you exhale, start to imprint the small of your back into the carriage, peeling the tailbone off, lifting your hips up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna flow through this bridging series just to wake up through the lower back and the spine, the lower abdominals, get everything moving. Exhale as you start to peel the tailbone off, press evenly through both heels and then inhale as you lower yourself down using your breath. We've got three to go, peeling the tailbone off, pressing evenly through both heels, slight squeeze through the glutes, and then lowering yourselves down one vertebrae at a time. Final two here, lifting up, and then lowering down on an inhale breath. Last one here, I want you to keep your hips up nice and high at the top. With a flat back, you're gonna inhale, come down halfway with your hips. Exhale, squeeze through the glutes, send the hips high. Inhaling to lower, exhaling to lift. We've got three more here. Using your breath for two. Nice. And our last one here. Let's start to roll down one vertebrae at a time. Release the tailbone at the end. Well done. Keep the heels onto the foot bar. We're gonna exhale, press away, find length through the legs. Inhale to bend through the knees, draw the carriage back in. We're coming into our footwork, so feet are in parallel. You want your knees in line with your second toes, your tailbone's nice and heavy. Belly button's drawing away from your pant line. Resist against the springs on the way out and on the way back in. Four more like this. And for three, exhale, pressing away. Final two here. One more, we're gonna come down halfway. We've got little tiny pulses up and down. So think about two inches up, two inches down, using your breath, working your quad muscles, keeping your bottom nice and heavy. We've got our last 10. You've got it, use your breath. Five to go for four, three, two, one. You're gonna press out all the way lengthen your legs and then bend the knees, draw the carriage all the way into the stopper. You're gonna slide your toes down to where your heels just were and draw your heels together. We're coming into our Pilates V. So inhaling to bend, exhaling to extend the legs out. Squeeze your inner thighs as you lengthen through the legs. Keep your bottom nice and heavy and keep the neutral spine. So you've got that gap between the small of your back and the carriage. Exhaling, lengthening, inhaling to bend. Nice work. Resisting the springs on the way out and on the way back in. Good, you've got your last four here. Using your breath, inhale to bend, exhale to extend for three. Final two. And your last one here. We're coming down halfway, we've got pulses. Keeping the heels glued together and keeping the heels lifted. You're going to start to feel your quad muscles working. Using your breath. We've got 10. Nice guys, you're on the home stretch here. Five to go for four, three, two, one. Let's lengthen the legs out all the way. Keep the legs straight, separate the heels. Come into your calf raises. So inhale, lower both heels underneath. Exhale, lifting both heels back up. Inhaling to lower, exhaling to lift. Thinking about your ankle mobility and flexibility. How far can you lower the heels underneath the foot bar? How far can you lift the heels back up? And take the same amount of time to lower the heels underneath as you do to lift the heels. Four more. Inhaling to lower, exhaling to lift for three. Final two here. And your last one, keep your heels lifted. You're gonna bend your right knee, send your left heel underneath, hold that stretch. Get that release through the back of the leg. And when you're ready, coming up through demi point, swapping over to the other side. So bending your left knee, send your right heel underneath. And coming.
coming up through demi point, bend both knees, draw the carriage in. You're going to place your heels out nice and wide onto the foot bar. Allow for a slight external rotation to come from your hips. Exhale, press out through the heels, lengthen your legs. Inhale to bend. And again, exhale, pressing away. Inhaling to bend. So when your heels are in this position, you should start to feel your inner thighs engage and your glutes. You're still going to feel your quads working. Try and get both knees extending out at the same time. Nice and soft through both legs as you extend. Using your breath here, we've got five to go. Final four here, exhale, pressing away. Three more. For two. One more here. Coming down halfway, little tiny pulses up and down. Using your breath, keeping the bottom heavy, keeping your neutral spine, pulsing through the legs. Nice work, you guys have got it. We've got 10 more. Good work, we're on the home stretch. We've got five for four, three, two, and one. Pressing out all the way, lengthen your legs. Bend your knees, draw the carriage in. The last little bit of footwork. You're gonna place your toes where your heels just were. Heels are lifted, draw your knees together into a knock-kneed position. I want you to press out as far as you can without letting your knees separate, and then draw the carriage back in. We're working your VMOs. And your VMO is a part of your quad muscles, so we're helping to strengthen the quads or the muscles that support your knee. So you might feel this quite intensely through your inner thighs or right where the knees are connected together. We're helping to strengthen that area. Use your breath here. One more before we come into pulses. Coming down halfway, little tiny pulses up and down when you're ready. Using your breath. Keep the knees squeezed together, keep the heels lifted. The higher the heels are, the more intense you're going to feel it through your VMOs. We're almost there. We've got 10 more pulses to go. You got it, use your breath. Last little bit here. We've got five and four, three, two, one. Pressing out all the way, bend your knees, draw the carriage in. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a little rock from side to side. And we're gonna curl up, we're gonna change our springs over. So I'll give you a spring option. We're working into our arms. If you wanna go a little bit lighter on the arms, have one red, one yellow spring. If you'd like to go a little bit easier, have one red, one blue. Then grab hold of your chi ball, lie it down onto your back again. Make sure the headrest is flat. Heels are coming onto the foot bar. You're gonna lift your hips up towards the ceiling and place the chi ball underneath of your sacrum. So you should feel really nice and supported. You shouldn't feel like you're rounding the back or you're arching it. It should just feel like it's supporting your tailbone there. Reach back behind you, grab hold of your short loops and bring your fingertips in line with your shoulders. You're then going to float your legs into tabletop. Inhale, take a nice deep belly breath here. As you exhale, press into your straps, draw your hands down by your side. Inhale, float them back up towards the ceiling. If you don't feel stable on the chi ball, you can always take the ball out and do this without the chi ball. Nice. So you can keep your legs into tabletop if you're in a beginner option. Otherwise, if you'd like to make this more advanced, you can add in your single leg extensions. So as you pull into your straps, you can reach one leg out nice and long, come back through tabletop and then alternate to the other side. Remember, the lower that you send your leg, the more challenging it is for your lower, lower abdominals. And the higher that you send the leg, it just takes the pressure off. If you would like to make it a little more challenging again, you can add in your double leg extensions. So both legs can reach over the foot bar. Remember, these are all additions, so you can always keep the legs into tabletop and focus on the arms, or you can stay with your single leg extensions. Nice work using your breath. You've got two more like this. And your last one here. Draw the legs back into tabletop with your hands now. You're gonna draw them all the way down by your hips. Flip your palms to face towards your hips. Inhale, you're gonna open your arms out into a T position. Exhale, pull your hands all the way down by your side. Each time that you open your arms out, you wanna be able to see your fingertips and your periphery. So again, for beginners, you can stay with the legs into tabletop. If you would like to make it more challenging, you can start to add in your leg extensions. 
using your breath pulling down from the armpits, belly buttons drawing to your spine. Nice, trying to stabilize on the chi ball. If you would like to make it more challenging again, you've got the option to add in your double leg extensions. But remember, you can always keep your legs into tabletop or single leg extensions. Nice. You guys have got it. Three more here. Exhale, pulling down. Inhale to open up. Two more. And your last one here. Well done. Place your feet onto the foot bar. Place the long loops onto the shoulder pins behind you. You're going to lift up your hips, grab hold of your chi ball, take it out from underneath of you, place it off to one side and curl yourself up. We're gonna come into our scooters. So change over to one red spring and step to the right of your reformer. Have your right foot in line with your foot bar and have your left foot up against your shoulder rest. Your left fingertips are on the foot bar, your right hand's behind your back. Bend your right knee and lean your upper body forward. Your gaze is about a meter in front and you're exhaling, extending through the left leg and then inhaling to bend, keeping the hips nice and square. If you feel like you've got enough balance, you can place your left hand behind your back and continue doing this movement with both hands behind the back. But if you need that stability, keep the left hand on the foot bar. Another added challenge is when you start to add in your running arms. So if you'd like to make it harder again, as you extend your left leg long behind you, you can extend your left arm forward, right arm goes back. The idea is to keep the torso nice and still without when you're running your arms and your leg. Last little bit here, we've got three to go. And for two, final one here. Draw the carriage in, well done. Step down from there, we're gonna walk over to the other side. So same deal, place your left toes in line with the foot bar, right foot's up against your shoulder rest, bend through both knees, right hand on the foot bar, left hand behind your back. Exhale as you stand, extend through your right leg, inhale as you bend. Gaze is a meter in front, Keep the left leg nice and still. That's not moving at all. Nice. When you get the confidence, you can start to bring your right hand behind your back and continue with the scooter on the right leg. If you like to have your balance or keep the balance or you feel like your balance is off, keep the right hand on the foot bar. Nice. Exhaling as you extend, inhaling to bend. Remember, you've also got the option of your running arms. So as you extend your right leg long, you can extend your right arm forward, left arm goes back. Exhaling and inhaling. We've got seven to go. And for six. Final five. For four, exhaling, inhaling. Three more here. Two to go. And your last one here. Draw the carriage all the way in, stepped out of there carefully. And we're gonna work into our planks. So grab hold of your foot bar, lower it all the way down, and then grab hold of your box. We're gonna place it on as a short box. We're going to keep the red spring there. It's just a little bit more supportive for the core. Place your toes onto the platform, your knees are on the carriage, and your elbows, or sorry, your forearms are on the box. Wrap your hands around the edge of the box or clasp the hands together. I'm going to work into our hovers here. So exhale, start to float the knees off of the carriage and then inhale to lower down. Feel like you're scooping up from your lower belly as you start to hover the knees off. We've got two more here. And one more, exhale, lifting up. On the next one, lift your knees up and extend the legs out nice and long. You're going to find a plank position. Belly buttons drawing to your spine. Legs are nice and straight. Feel like you're pulling the box apart with both elbows, so you're lifting out of your shoulders. Focusing on your breath. We've got five more seconds here for four, three, two, one. From here, we're going to start to slide the elbows forward 
and then draw them back in line with your shoulders. If this is too challenging, just hold the plank. We've got five to go. And for four. Three more here, belly buttons drawing to your spine. Two more. Final one, draw the elbows back in line with the shoulders, bend the knees in, just have a little breather. We're going to come into pikes next. So if pikes are too challenging, just hold your plank. Otherwise, let's lift the knees off, extend the legs out nice and long, find your plank position. From here, we're gonna exhale, pike your hips up towards the ceiling, draw your gaze in between your feet, and then lower yourselves down. Exhaling, lifting, inhale to lower. Keep the legs as straight as possible. Draw your gaze towards your feet. Belly buttons drawing to your spine, lifting up and then lowering down. Three more here. Exhaling to lift, inhale to lower. Final two. We're on the home stretch. And your last one here. Find the plank position, bend your knees, draw the carriage all the way in. Find a child's pose position, sink your bottom onto your heels, reach your arms out nice and long, and take a deep belly breath. So inhale through the nose, expand the rib cage out wide. Exhale to release your belly breath. You're gonna peel yourself up from here, and we're changing the short box into a long box. You'll keep your red spring, and you're gonna lie onto the box and have your chest in line with the edge. Extend the legs out long behind you. Press your pubic bone into the box and draw your belly button away. Reach down, grab hold of the knotted parts of your ropes. Inhale, take a deep belly breath here. Exhale, pull into your straps, draw your hands by your hips. Inhale, float the arms forward. Exhale, pulling back. Inhale, floating the arms forward. So you wanna feel your shoulder blades drawing down your back as you pull into your straps. If you have any lower back issues and you start to feel it in your back, you can bend your knees like I'm doing. If not, keep the legs extended. Keep pressing your pubic bone into the box and keep drawing your belly button away. Last few here before we start to work into our triceps. Using your breath. Exhale, pulling back. Inhale to float forward on this next one. You're going to keep your elbows in close by your waist. We're going to bend and extend at the elbows, working into our triceps. Keep reaching long through the legs if your legs are extended. Keep your gaze down towards the floor. Final little bit of tricep work here. Exhaling and then inhaling. Using your breath, we've got two to go. And your last one here. Lower the arms down, lower through the upper body. Place your long loops onto your shoulder pins. And when you're ready, you're gonna find a four point kneeling position on top of your box. If you have any wrist issues, you can always come onto your fists. That takes out any pressure off the wrists. Otherwise, keep the hands flat, shoulders are above your wrists, knees are in line with your hips. Exhale, start to round through the back, draw your gaze towards your navel. Inhale, let your belly hang, draw your gaze forward. Coming into a couple of cat cows just to get that movement through your spine. Exhale, pressing away, gaze towards the belly button. Inhale, let your belly hang, draw the gaze forward. Couple more here. Getting that full stretch through the back. And last one here. Nice, right, so you're gonna come off of the box. Take the box off of the reformer and we're lifting the foot bar up. Keep your red spring. And from here, you're gonna have your left foot in line with the foot bar, right foot's up against your shoulder rest. Keep your knee down, send the carriage away, get a really deep hip flexor stretch here. Your hands are wrapped around the foot bar. If you'd like a deeper stretch through the side of the body, you can start to lift up through the right arm and reach up and over. Get that intense stretch through the side of the body and through the front of the hip. When you're ready, draw the carriage all the way in. And now we're coming into a hamstring stretch. We're keeping both legs nice and straight, sending the carriage away. Make sure that your hips are nice and square. Get that release through the back of the leg. We've got five more seconds here. Four, 
three, two, one. Draw the carriage all the way in. Stepping out of there, we're gonna swap over to the other side. Have your right toes in line with the foot bar, left foot's up against your shoulder rest, send the carriage away, get that deep hip flexor stretch. And when you're ready, you can reach up and over with your left arm, get that stretch through the side of your body. Using your breath. A few more seconds here. And coming back through center, draw the carriage in. And we're going to lengthen both legs this time. Keep both hips tracking forward. Get your nice hamstring stretch and release. Focus on your deep belly breaths. We've got five more seconds for four, three, two, and one. Let's draw the carriage all the way in. Park the carriage. Thank you very much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed the class and I'll see you again next week.